Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Okay, in today's video, you know, I don't really want to waste your time. I just want to show you a new gambit that I've started learning and have, it's really increased my game, my strategy. You know, I found out that I really love sacrificing a lot of pieces, you know, to gain positional advantage or just to ruin the pawn structure of my opponent. This opening is called the Stanford Gambit. So I'm really going to show you the main line so that you can just know it and then you can start practicing this game uh, in your chess games, especially when you're playing blitz or rapid game. Okay, so the beginning move starts with obviously e4, e5, knight f5, knight f6. When you get here to knight f6, you know, as you're playing black, you're really going to copy what white is doing. This way, you are trying to uh, think or you're trying to make white think that. That if the pawn on e5 is a free pawn, you know, because the next move to initiate this gambit will be when white captures that uh, pawn on e5. Do not recapture on e4. You're gonna play uh, knight c6. White is obviously gonna capture, seeing that the king is gonna ruin your pawn structure. Then you're gonna give way and open that file there for your king and your bishop. Okay, right? So. White is going to continue with uh, development, increasing that um, that uh, strong center with that pawn on e4. We're going to play uh, bishop c5, bishop e2, h5. And if white castles, at this point, you know, it, it, is, it is over for white. There's nothing really much that he can do, you know. These are fundamental moves, you know, these are moves that would be played by players that are below 1600 ELO. And this is how I got my uh, rapid rating to 1325. You can go check that out on uh, chess.com. What you do from this point is you play uh, knight to g4. It's very crucial what white plays um, in this position. You know, if white chooses to capture that knight on uh, g4, you would capture the, the pawn right back, right? Now you have opened up that file for that, um, for that rook. You understand? It's really going to cause a lot of problems for white stick there. I don't know um, what uh, white would want to do in this position. White would respond with the pawn on h3, obviously thinking that you would not want to sacrifice a whole um, knight. Okay, you decide to play queen to d6, right? Obviously, threatening mate on uh, um, mate on h3, as you can see there. Threatening mate on right. So now, what um, what uh, white would want to do would want to get rid of that mate and capture on g4. You would then recapture with your eight pawn on g4. Then black would think that okay, I'm stopping this mate by playing three. Remember, this is a rapid game. This is a blitz game. Not really much time for. Then you would come in here and capture that uh, that uh, pawn on g3, and then you see that uh, you have actually mated your counterpart. This is a quick uh, move. You know you can you can learn this thing, and I'm really sure that it will be a great um, development. Or arsenal of play, you understand? So I want you to guys to go check it out and play this during your blitz and your in your rapid games, and then you come back here to the page, comment below, and tell me how it went. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video.